Hello everyone, this is Godzilla Lava 425 here. And alright, today we are going to be talking about Dead by Daylight Spring Trap again. I see the, my videos are popular in, within that frame, so I'm gonna make another one. This be might be my last one. Might. This is Dead by Daylight Spring Trap Theory. Alright. So we all know Spring Trap as William Afton. Not, yeah, William Afton. That's about the, about the thing I got. No, wait. Yeah, it's William Afton. Uh, who died in a spring locked body. Or what? I can't remember the exact name of it. But it's a. Uh, what body was it? Spring body. And he went to the spring body suit. Got spring trapped or spring locked. Basically, it clamped down on him, crushed him to death, and then he awoke as spring trap. The next, so I don't know when he awoke, but we all know he woke. Spring trap is a character that actually fits the Dead by Daylight lore to a T. All the characters that are in Dead by Daylight have been murderers. Or people who, or people or creatures that killed people. Spring trap is no exception. Spring trap killed twenty plus children in his time when he was alive, and also the time when he's an animatronic. So, if they do do a FNAF chapter. They will have to revolve his story around, or his character around, Springlock, or the the spring suits, or Springlock mechanic. Like, if I could theorize something that could actually happen, happen in the game, and could possibly be very very effective, it would be the the suits, the Springlock suits, because. For uh, Saul DLC, we got the trapper, uh, the the killer for that, the pig, can put the headset on the trap headset on the person. It can work in a similar mechanic, the same timer, so it actually really, really fits into the lore based or that mechanic based area. Uh, Spring Trap himself. There's many things you can do with him. Uh. Like, he's an animatronic. He can walk slowly. I, I don't know if animatronics can run, but I think walking quite slowly and at a pace would be perfect for the character. Free Trap himself should have a unique character model to allow him to be scary enough in the game. Because honestly, uh, I think the current model of Spring Trap that Scott Carlson made, I don't know if it's scary enough for it yet. If they can update it to their own design of what Spring Trap could be, if they could, and they have to get permission by Scott Carlson himself, they can actually do really good with the character itself. Sorry, give me a second. Spring trap Honestly Spring Trap is uh one of those unique characters that Scott made. He had his own standalone game, Five Nights at Freddy's Three. And throughout the lore he was at the first part throughout the lore he was known as Purple Guy or Willie Mafton. In Five Nights at Freddy's 3, he was known as Spring Trap, because the fact that he got trapped in the Spring Bonnie suit and it killed him when he tried to uh, move frantically. Uh, me theorizing what they could do with Bonnie could be a whole lot more difficult than you think. So, over tonight, I will be compiling all this stuff to uh, 
make uh, a really good theory on how this could work and how it could work out in the game. Now, survivor-wise, I have a really good idea, and that would be Michael Afton. Michael Afton is William Afton's brother. Matter of fact, and he will be fitting because he was the night guard for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Coincidentally enough, he was with, uh, he was haunted by his own brother, William. Yay. I think William was the owner of Freddy Fazbear's, along with Michael, because Freddy Fazbear was that part of the thing. But what makes him perfect as a survivor is because he was in the game. He faced against Springshot before. So it, it's perfect. It's like a quite a match with them that... Hey, we got William Afton, a.k.a. Springtrap, the brother of Michael Afton, and Michael Afton, the brother of William Afton, in the, as a survivor. It's perfect. They go inside with each other. A lot of people think they don't, don't know what the survivor would be. William Afton, or not William Afton, <laughs> Michael Afton would be the perfect fit. Uh, now, talking about what the chapter could all be about the it's of course gonna be all about FNAF which is Springtrap uh the map idea I think would be perfect to have a culmination of all maps in it from the first four games or the first three games like or maybe four if they can add the house where the child uh, or the nightmare element tracks was and like have an easter egg in it where there's like I think, what about um, Nightmare Fredbear? You know, that'd be perfect. And then, like, Final Fantasy Freddy's Pizzeria could have Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica on stage and they can look at you to run by. And FNAF 2, we can have the Toy Chicas or Toy uh, Animatronics, uh, Mangled, and all of them in there. So, yeah, they have many options with this, this uh, DLC. If they actually do make it, which I am so sure that y'all will are going to love, and are doing the survey and doing putting in Spring Trap as a name. Heck, I did too. I've seen it all over Twitter. It's blowing up. This freaking this movement is going strong. Heck, my last two videos on Spring Trap from Dead by Daylight were the most successful videos. I ever had. I gained a subscriber off it. But Spring Trap and Dead by Daylight is a unique concept that some of the DVD people might not get. I know there's a lot of people that hate it. And I trust, I know why, because why would it not work Finance at Freddy's in Dead by Daylight? Because some think that is too childish. It, they think it's a childish game. Five Nights at Freddy's isn't a child game. Actually, it's lore. It's very dark and deep. If a child knew what happened in the game and that lore, it would even give them nightmares. I think Five Nights at Freddy's as a teenager game, like around teenager adult game, a unique game that fits it in its personality, in its ways. Scott Kasson does a very good job at it. Heck, at the very, the very four, first four, first five games he did, was him alone. Dude, that is a feat that is unlike any. And they were successful, and they made millions off of them. Yeah. Why wouldn't you make sequels off of it? And why wouldn't you continue it? Heck, it's about to get its own movie. So. It's only fit for uh, Dead by Daylight to finally put in the FNAF chapter in here. Because FNAF is an iconic video game horror. I don't care what anybody else says. It is an iconic video game story. And basically an iconic horror video game. It fits in that category now because how successful 
became and how in depth its lore was. Heck, still going strong after all this time, uh, the lore is still deep. Heck, we got the new books coming out. And they actually tell us about why the animatronics were like this. Something called, I think it was called despair, the emotion that causes the animatronics to actually activate and, and do actions. Which is actually going in more depth of how the animatronics came to life. So not all the animatronics were affected by a spirit. I just love it. I love the integrate lore of FNAF. Uh, but anyway, back onto Dead by Daylight and uh, Springtrap. Uh, yeah, Springtrap is fitful. I've seen a lot of people want entered. Uh, entered, no. I don't think he will work. He w uh, we don't know much of his backstory. So I really don't think he would work at all. Springtrap is the only fitful one for this because... He has a backstory that it fits all the, the all the other killers. The only reason, the only uh, thing that's keeping him from getting into DVD, because I I know a person named by Onyx on Twitter asked the Dead by Daylight uh, devs if they are considering fun, Five Nights at Freddy's, and they never declined it at all. They said it is uh, whatever being discussed is being discussed and it won't be revealed until they just. They, it was time to reveal it. So, yeah, so, I think the only thing that's keeping Springtrap from joining Dead by Daylight is Cut Cost. Once he says it's okay, and that he gives the devs the right away, to use his license, his IP of Springtrap, he will get in the game. Uh, what else? I don't know much else. I'm just doing this off the top of my head because I haven't got down to his the writing stuff. Uh, looking at all the assortment of characters we have, not counting the ones that we know of, Spring Trap, all, all of them, is the fitful character. He can have so much unique power and stuff. It's just. A lot of freaking Dead by Daylight fans don't want this. I know for a fact they probably... Not all of them. It's actually mixed. Because it was the same for the Demogorgon from uh, Stranger Things. Because everybody was like, oh, that's not going to fit. And look what happened. It actually did really, really well. So if they did Springtrap, I think it would done very well. Don't let them fool you any. They know down deep in their hearts. They know that... If they put this out, they will be playing the living hell out of this. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to stop that there. See if I got anything else. No, I don't. Alright, so. I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, please. Most of you all aren't subscribed. Do me a favor and do it. It would be very, very helpful. I did gain one subscriber the last time. I hope to gain some more from this. I hope to gain some support. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did, please hit that like button. And please subscribe. It's just that big red button down below. Just hit it. And uh, it'll be good. Uh, see you all next time. Bye, y'all.